Today we're taking a look at the most recognizable song every year for the last 100 years. So a great overview of music history. A lot of you guys have been asking me to look at this channel Boogie Head, so it's their compilation today. Let's get started. Editor, make me ski. Okay, George Gershwin, seen that name before. I think he wrote Summertime and Rhapsody in Blue, obviously. <laughs> the cigar. Horses, 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 you really over bit horses, into that cigar, horses, huh? Horses, me over horses, <laughs> horses, she's a little wild. Uh, music used to be simpler, huh? Blue the flowers and trees, the birds and bees are making whoopee. <laughs> It sounds like Disney music, I was. Oh, this is a classic, Fred Astaire. Classic. The roughest, toughest, frail. Minnie had a heart as big as... Oh, he has crazy stage presence. Ah! Ah, Duke Ellington, classic. If you ain't got that swing, all I do is pray the Lord above will let me. Actually, a few of these I'm not familiar with. In the sun once more. It's just the thought of you, mm. the very thought of you, my love. The present requested this evening is formal. Top hat, white tie, and tail. Fred Astaire is in a lot of them. My He's had two songs so far. Let's see. Tell me about Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire was an American dancer, singer, actor, choreographer, and television presenter. I knew he was an actor. Astaire's career spanned over 76 years, during which he starred in more than 30 films. 76 years? That's work it's ethic right there. Heaven. He must have been ready to retire, like, economically for a really you long time. Find your fortune falling. Oh, classic. This is used all the time still. Benny Goodman. <laughs> oh. They switched to color as well. Crazy. And back to black and white. So this seems like a lot of things are connected to musicals and stuff early on. A bugle, that is the instrument, right? A bugle is a brass wind instrument without valves or keys, relying on the player's embouchure to produce a range of notes. Oh, interesting. It's one of those, yeah, so there's no way to change the notes with your fingers. You just blow differently into the bugle. Different lip pressure and stuff. I guess you've had a million dollars or more. Someone who knows brass instruments can probably tell me in the... <laughs> oh, Judy Garland. In the comments. This is so cool. This overview is awesome. Boogie Head has done a great job here. California to the New York Island. Give me five minutes more. Only five minutes more. So now I have Frank Sinatra and he was relevant forever as well. Ah, oh, classic. That's not the part you usually hear with Levy and Rose. That's interesting. Flowers and buttons and bows, rings and things and buttons and bows. That is very high quality footage for 1949. That's crazy. It looks like HD, like you see every hair on his head. When you find your true love. And back to potato footage. So good. Nat King Cole, man. Don't hear a bar. I'm singing in the rain. And this is just... This comes up all the time still. Gene Kelly. Gene Kelly was an American dancer, actor, singer, film director, and producer. Renowned for his dynamic and athletic dancing style, good looks, and likable characters. 
He significantly transformed the Hollywood musical through his innovative choreography, especially in films like Singing in the Rain and An American in Paris. I love that the one constant throughout the ages about what makes you popular is being good looking. Well, I don't... I don't love it. <laughs> it's your eye like a big pizza ah, classic. This is like way before Lady and the Tramp. Oh, classic. These are so... We're getting into like, I know every song so well. Insane. Okay, Elvis twice in a row. We don't really need any facts about Elvis. We know Elvis, right? He was in the best-selling artist video we did the other day. Hot <laughs> tequila. <laughs> ah, look at him. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Kermit. Kermit style singing. Ah. This song is probably influenced pop music more than any other pop song. Just this bass line, the way they interact with each other. So much pop nowadays is about this kind of like the melody being quite similar throughout and then like the chords moving in often this exact way, but sometimes, you know, in variations and stuff, but like kind of the idea of keeping a melody pretty stationary while moving the chords around to evoke different feelings. And you just hear all these different riffs on this bass line and these chords all the time. I feel like there wasn't as clear of a line between comedy music and normal music like in the 50s and 60s and before that even <laughs> the hands in the pockets I love it It feels crazy to see him young, because I'm so used to him being so freaking old now. The Monkees started out as a fake band for a TV show, and then they became a real band, I believe, and toured. But I think during the TV show, the Monkees were actually... The music was performed by other people. I think we had a video about fake bands that we talked about that in. What a wonderful oh. world. Serotonin. That song is just... And this one too. This is also great. Love it. He sings great on this. That vocal is actually really nice. Uh, <laughs> I feel your pain, boogie head. We have the same. Ah, oh, amazing. Oh, this is one of my favorite songs of all time. So good. <laughs> that always sounded like, it sounds cool, but it doesn't sound like that clean to me, the Dream On stuff. It's not like Queen. Like the Queen vocals were always like bang on. Ah, amazing. Sweden represent. But also, oh, it's so good. I just, I think that ABBA arrangements are just some of the best arrangements still. Just in terms of the music production and stuff. It's just so fun to listen to and all the freaking harmonies and stuff. Ah, ha, ha. Iconic. I guess that's the premise of this compilation to some extent. This stuff that has survived the test of time, right? That we still listen to now. These are not necessarily the most popular at the time. We did another video on that uh, of the most popular songs of the last 100 years, but this is the most recognizable ones. Yeah! Steve Perry, all time great singer. Crazy. That riff is crazy. Mm. 
Well, now we're entering kind of like the era that we usually talk about on this channel, like kind of 80s and forward. I feel like I'm going to know most of the things now. <laughs> oh, is there anything better than that? Aha, I believe are Danish? Are they Danish or Norwegian? Aha is a Norwegian synth pop band formed in Oslo in 1980. Mm, Norwegian. They achieved global success in the mid 1980s and has since been considered iconic. It is iconic. And this is still crazy. This is in my uh, voices video I did when I did voices impressions. This is such a funny music video too. Rick Astley's pretty active on social media nowadays. Like he has a Reddit account where he posts and he's on YouTube doing covers and stuff. It's super cool. Okay. Love it. Break it down. Oh. These vocals are crazy. So, I thought it was interesting. I read a Dave Grohl interview recently. We were talking about this, and apparently they didn't really tour that much as Nirvana. And for a lot of the touring, Kurt would kind of like hurt his voice and stuff. So that's interesting. So they were almost like a studio band in some ways, where that they didn't really tour. I mean, nowadays he tours a lot. By the way, my name is Rumi. Welcome back to another video. We upload Wednesdays and Saturdays right now. I want to give a big shout out to Boogiehead who made this compilation. If you like this, they have a lot of other videos that are similar. Like this one looks cool. Every Super Bowl halftime show. Crazy crazy awesome channel that you guys recommended to me and that's why I'm watching this at all so thank you if you want bonus material and supporting our videos that do get claimed you can go to patreon.com slash roomy official thank you patrons for the support turn me into the patreon logo editor such a crazy vocal Ah, love it. No. Classic. Yeah, now we're in the really produced era of music here. This is when things start feeling really, like, clean, you know? I believe that is the most best-selling song of all time. My heart will go on. Talk about that in this video. Mm. Oh, I love this! I feel like Ricky Martin often gets overlooked in music history. It's so good. I love this song. Let's go. Also one of the best-selling artists of all time. These guys too. Ah, Eminem's dominating here. Actually, I don't really know that many kind of facts about Eminem. I know like bits and pieces. I'd love to hear kind of like a summary. Marshall Bruce Mathers III. He's known for his lyrical prowess, personal storytelling, and controversial themes. Definitely in the 90s a lot, or like 2000 was like a lot of controversial stuff. Eminem gained widespread acclaim with albums like the Slim Shady LP, the Marshall Mathers LP, and the Eminem Show. That was probably my first or second album I ever bought was the Marshall Mathers LP. He's won numerous awards, including Grammy Awards, and is considered one of the greatest rappers of all time after me because I have made this video. I'm not a good rapper. It's funny. Some of my most viewed videos are rap videos, but I wouldn't consider myself a rapper. Ah, oh, this is crazy. So this is actually a sample. For some reason, I thought this was recorded for the song, but, but that whole horn thing, basically a sample. Love that era. This one has the infamous line uh, of uh, 
my breasts are like mountains or something like that. We talked about that in a video a while back. I think it's like the worst lyrics ever. Okay. You know what's crazy? I was thinking when we got to like the 90s, I'm like, yeah, now the songs will almost be over and just realize that my brain is so bad because like there's literally still like 15 songs left. <laughs> yeah, this was really iconic at the time. Lady Gaga's been around for a hot minute. Lady Gaga. Um. Yep. Really blew into the scene here. Yes! This was kind of the dance monkey of its era, but I kind of like this more. Super overplayed though. And this is when like the YouTube, I feel like YouTube music was kind of peaking here. We people like Charlie Puth even before he blew up, he would like kind of make music like this. He made a song called Sexy Shades. It's very funny. It's like basically this kind of like parody music with like funny music videos would just be huge on YouTube at the time. And YouTube covers, you know, Bieber was coming up. This feels like it's not that long ago. That's crazy. I feel a lot of songs were kind of based off of Happy Later. Like, Can't Stop the Feeling sounds inspired by Happy. This rocks, by the way. I like this. Okay, more Adele. Five years since Rolling in the Deep here. Okay. Yeah, this was... this was the only song that summer. And same with this, this was the only song that summer. That's crazy. That feels like ages ago though. 2017, that's not even that long ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yay. Dynamite. I gotta say, I prefer butter to this, and they're very similar. Oh, yeah! Most of these now, like the more recent ones, are like Song of the Summer type songs. Okay. Harry actually has one of the top selling albums of all time with that. Before we see the last song in this compilation, I want to recommend this video, a quiz where we guess popular songs from one word only. It's actually easier and harder than you might think. Miley Cyrus, that makes so much sense. That was huge last summer. Thank you, Boogie Head as well. Sorry guys, now I gotta go work in an ice cream store. Ooh, you want this ice cream? How about this ice cream? This 